Chris? No. Okay, never mind then. Well, yes, welcome back. Um, I have no idea where I left off last time, but, you know, we left off somewhere. We were playing video games. Yes. That's what's important. All, all I know is that we're missing somebody here today. Look, it's Rucksack. Ah, yes. Oh, yes, I remember this bit. We were we were, we were at the little, the, 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 the girl's mansion. Well, what's her name? Rosalina. What's her name? <laughs> Nominee. <laughs> Nominee, there Rosalina you go. Rosalina <laughs> was last week. Oh, yeah, that was, that was the other princess. With Mario. Yeah. Who's cuter than Peach, but you know. Yes. That's besides it, the point, apparently. Well, you don't gotta bring it up. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. I forgot how to play. Okay, no, maybe I haven't forgotten. X was to block. There we go. I killed it. I killed it, Chris. I've done it. Yeah. Come on, stupid mobile data. Just load yeah, the stream, please. And there's no way to full screen this, is there, Chris? Uh, well, now it's stuck like this, so... That's a shame. Ow. Can I hear you? Um, oh yeah, I haven't, I haven't really said anything within the last couple of moments. I was too enthralled with killing this, uh, this thing here. Yeah. So you can hear me quite well? I can hear you. Alright, perfect. But can they hear me is the question. Not particularly well. Ah. All I need to do... Is. is adjust the, the gain? Is that it? Is that yeah. it's called? Uh -huh. I'm learning. I forgot how to roll, Chris. How do you forget? Or do I not know how to roll yet? Oh, I don't remember, actually. I, I think I just can't roll yet, because I know I have the reversal thing. But I don't think I can actually roll quite yet. Let me check, actually. Abilities. Yeah, we can. I can hear us, and hopefully everybody else is Ooh, at scan. a volume. That, that actually where they will can tell me us. HP things, huh? That would probably be very useful to have. Yeah, there we go. Now we can actually. Uh... Oh, I can put everything on. Okay then. I guess I can put everything on. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, items. What items do I have? Accessories. I've got an ability ring. Sure, why not? And then I've got a champion belt. Why not? You might, you, yeah, because it's not like you have teammates right now. So just give yourself some resistances. Yeah. Right, I, I'm, am I supposed to go in here, Chris? Have you been in there before? Well, well obviously not, because well, it's question mark, question mark, question mark. Through. So, yeah, we're missing Kevin today. Obviously, we are missing Kevin. We lost him. We were at the mall, and then just out of nowhere. We don't know what happened to him. All I remember seeing was a uh, one of those uh, what you call them, uh, poll people, right? People that that ask you questions. Yeah. Uh, Kevin walked up to him, and that was it. That was the last I saw him. Yeah. I thought it was strange how that guy was wearing a trench coat at the mall during the summer. You don't think it's like a hundred degrees out here too? Yeah. So it's really hot today. I mean, my car was burning up. So you know, let's hope that Kevin's okay. <laughs> I suppose we should examine. Uh, okay. Massive blast broke that. Cool. Oven bandana. Also cool. Is that is that worth anything to me? I think that's another accessory item, or... But what would thing. be better? Okay, so not accessory, armor. Ooh, it adds one more defense. But it takes away all your resistance, right? Yes. Um, what would be better, Chris? You might as well keep the resistance, it's only one defense. That is true, and it's 20% resistance on basically everything. Okay. Okay, okay. so... What else is it? it doesn't look like there's anything else to find in here. Not really, no. 
I can't break the chairs. Can't hit the little armor dude. Yeah, nothing to lock on here. So let's go back to the foyer. Yeah. The foyer, as I say. I don't know. <laughs> I think you're supposed to be upstairs and go to the room that you have not been to. So on the other side. This one? No, you oh, were that's in the there. white room. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to be able to roll, but I can't roll yet. Could you do me a favor? Yes. And could you use your hand to reach over to this speaker and turn it down just a little bit? Uh, where is the speaker? Oh, right here. Right there. Oh, let's see. Swing your keyblade. Oh, you're going to turn it off. Oh, I see. Well, we can't hear it anymore, so that's fine. Should I put it up again? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, just a little bit. And swing your keyblade. Well. Okay, well, I can't hear it. Whatever. It's just on our end. The mic, the audio is getting through on the capture. Interesting. I'm going to just sign this paper that I found in the middle of the library. The contract, <laughs> yes. <laughs> For no good reason, but because I felt like signing it. Why did he draw on that? Was there a reason for any of that? He saw the insignia. And so he decided to complete it? It was like, yeah. That's really random. Why would anyone do that? What do you mean, why? You see a pattern, Isma, you see that it's incomplete, you just want to complete it. At some random building that you walked in, you start drawing on their desk? Yes. Okay, alrighty. Yeah. Uh, go down the stairs. Into the basement. Ooh. Isn't this where they were? The the two guys talking. Uh, what's uh -huh. his name? You, uh, rem you remember? Yeah, Count Count uh, Count Dooku and what's his face? Ansem. Yeah. I love how Count Dooku. I called it too. You did. <laughs> I was like, oh, I love this Count Dooku voice. <laughs> and it just is. Uh huh. You're Cause... remembering. Can we please raise the volume when his voice pops up? So okay. I may hear the Count Duca. Sure. Oh, is this it right here? Is mm. Count Duco here? Not yet. Who is that? Wasn't that the, the, the same girl? Who is that? Nomine? What's, whatever her name is. Who is that? Who is that? These are all good questions, Chris. I don't know who these people are, and I don't know why we have like a... You know... Oh, Sora's here? Is that Sora or is that Roxas? <laughs> Can you not tell? I really can't, honestly. They look exactly the same. Are you sure they look exactly the same? They really do. I'm pretty sure Except one... one has shoes. That's the only <laughs> distinguishing factor. You're right, one of them doesn't <laughs> wear shoes. One just has the cartoony shoes. That's all I know. Apparently Roxas just got killed. By his buddy. Riku killed him. Oh, look, turn it up. Maintain the simulated town until nominate. Oh, that voice. That voice just makes me swoon. <laughs> oh, sir, Christopher. Oh. Honestly, I just want to go watch Star Wars. The Clone Wars, where they have his voice play. It's like, oh, yes. <laughs> oh. So I'm pretty sure he plays Count Dooku on just about everything, right? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know if he did voice roles for, like, the animated stuff. I thought he did. I might be wrong. Yeah, I'm not sure. So, it may be. It was probably a good sport about it. Because, I mean, he's in this, too, you know? So I figured he might have worked with them mm -hmm. in the past. Because I think he, he was also the voice in the Clone Wars show. I might be wrong. That's cool. You know what's really cool? What? Vandalism. You know, you mentioned it, Chris. I guess so. You know, my on my uh, during my orientation in law school, they they made us graffiti things. Why did they do that? <laughs> no, it was paint like you know with spray paint. Yeah. yeah on some paper, uh -huh. like stencils. Some people got to do that as an activity. It was like you, you choose your own activity thing, yeah. and some people chose that. 
And so the joke was they were graffitiing. Because it's graffiti spray. So if we just vandalize the place. Yes. Lovely. Won't ever work again. Good to know. Yeah, I broke it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what this device. Yeah, don't know what the I device. broke it. It looks like someone's data. What is that? A recognizable silhouette? It's definitely Sora. I can tell by the feet. Could it be? Chris, it, it must be. Look at those feet. Are you sure? I am 100% certain. No man has feet like that. Uh, that's actually a good point. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's when you, like, distinguish Bigfoot mm -hmm. from, like, other things, because, like, all you gotta do is look at the feet. Mm -hmm. That's how you know. Okay, that's yeah. true. Do uh, you want to go to the library or do you want to go down no, this way? No, we want to keep going down. Yeah. Down the question mark path. Whoa. It could not be. Hmm. The villains. Defeat all of them. You know, I think I've gotten better at blocking. I'm sure you have. I mean, if you keep blocking, then all of a sudden, when they do attack, it'll have worked. On second thought, maybe you have not gotten better at blocking. No, I feel like I have, but I'm just, just picking up stuff right now. Oh yeah, I can see their HP bar now. Hey, because you got a scan. It's good to have scan. It really is. You know, it's really weird that a game makes you work for your HP bar. Well, you have to equip the ability as well. Yeah, I find that really stupid. That's the yep. Yeah, that's the thing. I think an HP bar needs to be just sp splat on there. Yeah, simply amazing. Do I get to kill you now? Oh, I, I do get to kill you now. Cool. Alrighty. I'm done with this. It's the ring of fire. Let's do it. Oh, where'd you get those? Oh, I got I got dual blades now? Yeah, all of a sudden, you, you remembered that you could do that, and then you did it. Yeah, lovely. You're pretty cool. So now I'm going to dual blade this and like Rayla Sakura and then die. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, look out! Oh, I have to, I have to, I have to like stay in the air or something. You, well, no. Oh, over to oh, you gotta look out for those. Ball burst. Oh, I have to, like, press Y when it... Those things do good things for you, so do them. Well, you have to get them at the right time. You can't just do them whenever. Whoa! Yeah. Yes. Just keep mashing nice. Y, apparently. Apparently that works enough. Now he's vulnerable. I'm really glad you went with an only strength loadout, because you're about to be done with this fight. I don't know, isn't that great? I'm a bit overpowered, Except I feel. Except you could die. Uh oh. Nope. Yeah, speaking of dying. Keep your composure. Here we go. Yes! Get him! Urgh. Just keep mashing that Y button. Honestly, Ooh. I think this game's broken. Get him, get him. Okay, so now a thing you need to know about this game right there. Yeah. You cannot finish any boss fight until you've casted a magic spell or completed a combo. Oh. Interesting. It's cinematic, but also it makes it so that you can't end sometimes. Yeah, lovely. I 
I feel like that was a really easy fight. It is. It's it's supposed to be the beginner boss fight. You have to be able to, you know, if yeah. you get those things right, where you do the triangle things, then, well, it becomes really easy. Because okay. those make him vulnerable. They take off quite a bit of his health bar. Interesting. So now I'm, I'm off to find Ansem. And the next life? That means he's going to kill him right now? Oh, he, he already died? Don't mean I do. Bye-bye. Oh, he's dead? What could he mean by that? So why do you have an afterlife and he doesn't? Because he ain't real. Look at that. Well, I can't even go in. What the heck? Why would you give me a big old circle and not let me go in? Power of Darkness. Okay, so that's like a later game thing. That's something that was not in the original cut of this game. Uh, if you haven't known, this is the final mix, meaning... I'll get into the one go, go over there. This is the final mix, meaning there are things different from the game. They added some stuff, and that's, see. that's something you're going to be able to access when you're Sora. Okay. Can I have the treasure chest right there before you keep on walking? No. No? Well, darn How does he know who Donald and Goofy... Well, I guess it's Disney. Everyone knows who they are. <laughs> I mean, that would be a great explanation for it. You know, I think that would be the perfect explanation. Just Donald's Yeah, it's just it's just Disney. Everyone knows Donald's who they are. Donald's lifeless is. corpse and Goofy's lifeless husk. Can I just, like, break it open? No? Darn. But what is in this room? Mickey the Mouse. <gasps> Count Dooku, this is the part where I take your head. He's got the same eye color, too. They both have, like, yellow eyes. Yeah. Yeah, he's got yellow eyes, too. I wonder why they got Count Dooku to voice him over, you know? Uh, yeah, it's really fitting. <laughs> Even though he's more like a Darth Maul, but, you know. He does have a great voice. Yes, he does. I thought he... I, I read that as Lord. <laughs> it's like, oh, Christianity, you've infested my video games. <laughs> Why didn't he go back to one sword? He had two. You see, I'm not real. But Roxas doesn't get that. Can you just chop off his head and just like fly his He can try. Oh, he's gone. Talking about exhausting yourself for no reason. Like really, dude. You've been fighting all day and then you just wasted oh. a bunch of energy on that. I wonder if that scene was, that little thing right there was extended because you, we were stuck looking at Roxas breathing heavily for like a good ten seconds. Yeah. yeah. I, I wonder why he didn't ask the question who the hell is Sora. Because I don't think they've met at this point, right? Well, he knows his memories, uh, Sora's memories are within him. But he doesn't know who the hell Sora is, right? Well, now he does. There he is. Ah, uh, little Sora. Okay, lovely. Look how big and goofy his shoes are in comparison to his shoes. <laughs> like, you got normal sneakers here, <laughs> and they're like hiking boots plus clown boots put together. The double dose. Literally. And you want to tell me that on that computer screen was not Sora? <laughs> Look at those shoes and tell me that it wasn't Sora. <laughs> well, now we know. Now we know Sora was in here. We also know now that the video game has begun. Ooh. Oh, we're back in the, the Twilight Town. Back to the session. Oh, we got an achievement. Summer's End. Mm -hmm. So the summer's over, is my... Oh, well... 
I was kind of hoping it'd last longer. But I guess, you know, it's time for school. It's convenient how the summer actually is over in real life the second that we did this episode. You know, it's, it is very convenient. Literally, I think uh, Monday's the first day of school for a lot of people. Uh, at least over here, they already went back this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I went back uh, last Monday. <laughs> Familiar voices? Ah. The same people who were in cryopods just a moment ago. The guy's yeah, name is Christopher Walken, right? Is that, is, is that the guy's name that does the Count Dooku voice? Christopher oh. Lee. Lee. Okay, sorry. My bad. Wrong Christopher. Christopher Lee. Oh, there he is. Dang, the guy's old. Oh, he's dead. He is. He died a few years ago. Oh. <laughs> I just got really sad. <laughs> I thought he was still alive and well. I was like, oh, he's an old man. Oh, no, he's dead. Oh, that's so sad. It is sad. Oh. Well, maybe he wasn't in the Star Wars thing. No, but he did do the animation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He was he was the voice of Count Dooku in that one too. Okay. Yeah. Listen to Sora. He sounds so grown up. I know. You would never believe he's only one year older than he was. I swear, what is with them and just like timeline and then age wise, they need to like fix the design or something. So to be fair, they so. Sora, Riku, and Ky Kyrie are 12 in one. In this game, they're all 13. And it is plausible that Sora went through puberty in his sleep. And luckily got through that shit without even knowing. <laughs> <laughs> Who the heck is Namuna anyway? Some you know that is. Yep. Jiminy Cricket. I don't remember Jiminy Cricket being you, the first one, right? Nobody ever remembers Jiminy is literally hopping around in your ass the entire adventure. In the first one? Throughout the end, every game, oh. Jiminy's inside Sora somehow. Interesting. Okay, so we, now we have Donald and Goofy. Now you're back to the main. Wait, group. can we have four party members this time around? No, you can only have three out at a time, but there will be a fourth member. You know, just like the first game, a fourth member you can swap in. I see. I see. I see. Depending so on the world. apparently, um, Donald can either have Donald Cure or Donald Thunder. Let's not go with Cure. Not either. He has both of them on right now. Oh, he does? They're both equipped. That's what the E means. Uh, I see, I see, I see. And then Goofy has Goofy Bash and Item Boost. It should have been Goofy Boost. Okay. I mean, if I'm going to keep up with the theme, you know. Lost opportunity there. It should be. <laughs> Alright, let's you see. You can put things on them if you want. Um, uh, defense might go better on Goofy because he's already a tank. Yeah, I'll give that to you, buddy. And then you got nothing else, so... So I guess they can just suck it then already. Whatever. This is the beginning of the game, don't worry. It's probably nothing you have to worry about for another hour. Um, how do we uh, change their their uh, motives or whatever you, whatever you call it? Uh, status, party. Customize, maybe? Customize. Donate. No. I... Huh. Go to status. Don't know. Okay. Um, nope. Doesn't look like you can get that. Nope. Uh, go to party. We tried go. that already. You can't. Okay. You can swap their places. I guess you can't change their modes in this game. I never noticed that. Interesting. Okay. So I can't tell them what to do. They're no. just going to do it themselves. No, they're going to do whatever they want to. Alright, in that case, you pricks, I'm taking your items away. <laughs> you don't get anything. And especially you don't get anything either. Not goofus? No. They get nothing. Only I get things. Okay. <laughs> I know that sounds messed up, but you know. I'm greedy like that. Yeah. Contains hints on what to do next. It's not that difficult. You saw Mickey Mouse show up at the station, so go to the station. Uh, well, if you didn't tell me, I would have never known. So. <laughs> Alright, time to go to the Hundred Acre Woods. 
And I don't know why, but you decided to come here. You went from the mansion to the lookout place with the boys. Interesting. Yeah, because I'm Roxas this entire time. He doesn't know that yet. No, so it is true. He is Roxas. They came from there. Okay, so they're going to explain it later, but in a really long-winded and stupid way. Uh, we got lazy with the character design. No, Roxas. <laughs> Roxas is a nobody, and That's what it. a nobody is, it's a uh, heartless husk left behind when somebody's heart turns to darkness and they become a heartless. The body left behind becomes a nobody. And so that's... Remember at the end of Kingdom Hearts, Sora became a Heartless. Oh yeah, he becomes a little monster. Yeah, so he created a nobody. Uh, I like how they're like, oh, we don't know who you are, but, you know... We don't really understand why you infiltrated our base, but it's up later. You know, you, you definitely look like Roxas, our friend that we've completely vanished from our memories. You know, because we're shit friends like that. Well... I like how it goes weird. Sora, he goes, he starts we with... Are Sora. <laughs> we are Sora. <laughs> His name was Count Dooku. Oh, never mind. It was oh, baby. <laughs> oh, it sounds uh, like Count Dooku. <laughs> sounds like the Sith Lord himself. <laughs> Count Sidious. They gotta get back to homework. Sora doesn't even know what homework is. Because he's just the beach bum. <laughs> like seriously, later in the series, in 3, Donald is like, Sora can't even read. And Sora's like, hey, that's not important. <laughs> you know what would be funny? Is if they... The, they make a Kingdom Hearts 4, right? Yeah. And, or was it 3? It'll be 4. It'll be 4, yeah, okay. They make a Kingdom Hearts 4, and, and they go and they'll be like, alright, well, turns out Mickey Mouse is Darth Sidious. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> He's did all, he was the king, he runs the court, you know? He turned to darkness so quickly. Yes. We like South Park, Whoa. Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Yeah. Station Heights. Where's my skateboard? Um, or, they I, get, or they take that away from me too? I think not at this time. I don't think Sora is. I don't think Sora knows how to skateboard yet. Do I get to learn? Oh, oh! It's this unrelated character who decided to pop in one last time so I can kick his bum. I'm actually glad that you went here because this is a scene that you can bypass. It's not important. Uh. Okay, smart Alex. Time to teach you how to behave in my town. Your town? Man. You gonna use your fist? Alright, man. I got a key blade, so you know. I think I don't think this is gonna end well for you. If you're gonna fight, why not make it a proper struggle? Ah, struggle. Make it a class struggle. <laughs> see your super cool moves, boy. This guy is weird. So he dropped... So the struggle tournament happened in this timeline. Uh, yeah. Spoilers, this is not the same world that Roxas was in. But in this timeline, Cypher, uh, whatever the hell his name is, he won. So he went from shit stain to pro or something? I guess. I mean, without Roxas around or that nobody Vivi. In fact, Vivi's not even here. So without the, without those guys, Cypher went on on a testing. So uh, how do I fight him now? Mm -hmm. do, I, do I talk to? I don't. I guess he 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 came up and said that, and I don't think you can do that right now. Wait, are, are all my abilities different now? No. 
You have the same abilities as when you were Roxas. Okay. Because you can actually, like... Nah, never mind. I was gonna say, I think you can get... You can grind to get it to a super high level and then unlock abilities that you would get as Sora. But there's no way to grind in Roxas' story because all the, all the fights are planned out and scripted. Oh, interesting. So I can't do anything about fighting this guy? No. I'm not gonna lose. Why don't you come back ten years from now? Wait, ten years from in now? In Kingdom Hearts 3. Is that when I get to fight him? No. Can we just skip ahead, Chris? And He's just not fight even him? in. <laughs> you come back to Twilight Town in 3. He's not here. Uh, I guess he ran off. I guess. He was too scared to fight me. <laughs> That's what I'll think. Station Heights. It's the little girl. Good job. Me. Okay. Go down this way, right? Um, I don't think it up? up, because you're trying to go to the station. I see. I don't have to earn money, do I? No. Updating job information? Okay, They won't you. even let you. Yeah, they took away my skateboard. What the hell, dude? That was the best part of this game. They just took it away from me. I feel hurt that they took away the skateboard. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Welcome. Ah, the clock tower where Roxas fell and died. And now no one remembers his name. That's an alternate timeline, not the one that we're in right now. He died. It doesn't matter whether what timeline it was in. He disappeared. He's dead. Lord. He died that day and his friends don't remember who he is. <laughs> That's no one who came to the funeral, Chris. It's really sad. That's awful. <laughs> Defeat all of the nobody. Oh, I can't reverse, can I? Uh, you, you can. It's just, you know, you're not going to have every opportunity to do that. You reached level six. You kind of level up kind of quick, I feel. Or no? You might. I mean, you don't get to do the thing you did in one where you, you get choose. To, you get to decide how fast or how slow you level. Um, Interesting. So I think this one is just stagnant. It's not even too bad then. You might get progressively higher. Harder over time, I would assume. Yes. But I feel like I'm leveling up pretty fast. Well, Gunold is level 7. So far, this feels easier than uh, 1. It's a lot more fluid. Yeah, if you. It definitely feels like it controls better, for sure. Yeah, in general, when it comes down to the controls and the way combat works in this game, it's far more... It's quicker and smoother. Yeah. See, so yeah, I leveled up again. I, I just got two level ups from this fight. I don't remember what mode we're on, but I'm curious if we're on easy mode. We're on standard. Whatever uh, the standard uh, mode is. Yeah, then kind of fast, but also it's not going to be easy. Hmm. Why is Goofy and Donald on the floor? We were doing just fine. You got tired. They keep coming. I wasn't tired yet. <laughs> You're out it, of shape. It, it should have let me keep fighting until uh, I could fight no more. Whoa, whoa! Oh, they just wanted a little video from Mickey to we'll come in. Huh? Is he not dressed like Darth Sidious? Like, look at that. Look at those clothes. I'm glad you noticed because this is probably the greatest appearance of Mickey, Mickey Mouse ever. Look at him wearing a freaking. Telling you to leave town? Yeah. Get out of town, like Patrick. Yeah. That one episode where he goes like, oh, get out of town. Oh no, he's gonna run me out of town. I guess I have to. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, it's an ad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found out more about the Patrick Star sh show. Do you want to know? Yes, let's hear it. Okay, so I got it wrong. It's not that it's a talk show of Patrick. Uh, in fact, it's actually that Patrick has decided to just act like he's in the TV show. 
but he's just at home with his family doing whatever, and he, <laughs> he acts like he's on TV. That was kind of funny. Is, is his family the family that he's like, Who are you people? <laughs> no, they retconned them. It's completely different parents now. Oh, no. And he has a little squid sister. How does that work? They adopted her, I guess. But they don't even mention his actual big sister who was in an episode. Gosh dang, man. They, they retconned that, too? They retconned everything about Patricia. What about Patricia? Life. Well, <laughs> we don't speak of Patricia. We don't talk about his past life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like, why is everyone treating me differently? <laughs> they all trying to get in his pants. God, they were. <laughs> it was Squidward and Mr. Krabs. And it was at work, too. Like, with the whole... <laughs> like sexual harassment at the workplace. Man, really? Man, Bob, you're hitting, you're hitting points that I didn't think you would. <laughs> oh. Oh, speaking of sexual, have you heard about what the whole Blizzard thing? Oh, my God. What did they do this time? Oh, apparently there's a big old uh, sexual harassment scandal. Uh... And I, I mean, when I say big, I mean like the president had to step down. Oh my god! It, it's it's been a mess at Blizzard. God. They did their their earnings went well though. I mean, <laughs> they made money this quarter, but then their stock still plummeted because of their uh, scandal. Yeah. Chris, you should really read into it. How um, many frick, How many of those big game companies are like relatively big? This was like famous. A, this is like an office wide thing. Though, like the, the harassment scandal for Blizzard. Why is it just that I hear about the game company scandals because it's relevant to my interests? Or I think is, so. Is, <laughs> like that's probably it because it can't be that they're the only companies that ever have these kinds of scandals. No, there's like, a lot of companies that do. It's like, just it's just because it's within our yeah. our purview. Yeah. Like CG, CD Projekt Red, how they were completely like they were like slave laboring their workers for so long. Kind of uh, like Telltale. <laughs> Telltale, the same thing. How David Cage and his studio making Detroit Become Human and all those games, they were mistreating women. See, that's what was happening at Blizzard. Mm-hmm. There was there was mistreatment too, like a whole another level though. Oh my god! I'm not I'm not like the way they describe it is crazy. Like, really crazy. I forgot what article it was that I was reading, but, like, god damn, dude. You would think that they would have been, like, you know, like, HR would have done something a long time ago, but apparently not, you know? Their HR department probably was having fun, too. At least this gives... At least this gives me fuel <laughs> as... Oh, oh, you're a Blizzard fan? Oh, Overwatch is the best freaking thing ever? Hmm. Did you did you know that the people at that company do things? <laughs> do you, I guess you support that, don't you? You know, to be to, the only Blizzard game I really ever played was Hearthstone, and ever since the th ever since like I think it was a couple updates ago, probably like six months yeah. to a year now, I haven't really played. Yeah, so. I feel good about it. <laughs> I also don't want to make light of the terrible situation, and I don't want to say I don't want to like make it seem like I'm serious. That if you if you like a Blizzard game, then you support that. No, yeah. I, don't, I don't want that out there. Yeah, yeah. I don't want that hating. You know, I just I find I find Overwatch personally very annoying and not a great game, and everybody who likes it is annoying. I have about never it. played it because I have to pay for it. No, it's just like. Eh. I've seen plenty of games like it. I, yeah. I don't. I don't think I need this one in my library. Yeah. Plus, I'm not a big MOBA fan, and I'm not a big uh, MOBA plus FPS yeah. fan. So it, it's not within my cup of tea because it's very arcadey. Look at Sora cry. Why is he crying? Oh, because he met Olette. Like, are you okay? He's like, I want Kyrie. <laughs> like, calm down. You're busting out in tears over saying goodbye to. Somebody you just met? Boy. I know, right? Goodbye. What a great guy. My name is... My name was Roxas. <laughs> what if he said that? <laughs> what if he was like, oh, bye. My name's Roxas, by the way. Like, whoa. Where did that come from? It just came to me. <laughs> I like how that guy's really close to the train track. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> like the, that's, I'm pretty sure that's marked as like a place where you should not be standing. It should be. Yeah. I think that's why it's a different color than the rest of the tile. <laughs> <laughs> and he's standing right on it. Ah. Uh, do I get to walk around now? No, never mind. No, but yeah, Chris, the uh, the industry is really well known for working its employees like slaves. Yep. Yeah. That, that, that's I mean, the thing that the gaming industry just does in general. I think that's the programming uh, industry in just... I would think so. In general. And I... You know, I hate what Game Freak does to their games, but I've never heard of them uh, forcing their workers to the bone to get a game out. Even though you would think that might happen considering Pokemon comes out with a game every year. I think they just kind of like sit on it. They're just like, alrighty, yeah, put maybe, this one out. <laughs> maybe we just haven't heard of it yet. Nobody's yeah. come out. Yeah, probably. No, but yeah, really, go read that stuff, Chris, about Blizzard. It, it'll it blow your mind. Because I was reading about it and I was like, Jesus. <laughs> and now there's a big old lawsuit against them, mm -hmm. obviously. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Naturally. Oh. Guess that's that. He's not dead. He's alive. He's like, I'm dead. Exist, yeah, you just said it. To hell. To or to heaven. Which is it? <laughs> <laughs> They're just stuck in purgatory. Yeah. God, Naminé's so cute. She believed that this man was going to kill her, and she was like, really? <laughs> Wait, who's this guy? Or have we not met him yet? Uh, that's Ansem. Is it? Well, he put his hood back on, but that's the guy who was Ansem that you saw earlier. I see. And so these guys work for Ansem. No. Ansem and Diz are working in kind... Diz keeps Naminé captive because he's intrigued by her. Mm -hmm. Axel's here because he doesn't like his actual boss. Who's his actual boss? Uh, you'll meet him later. Count Dooku? No. Darth Maul? <laughs> it's General Grievous. Oh. Rest in peace, Christopher. Now that I know you're dead, I, I feel real sad. Yeah. It has, it has, it, it is buried, oh ho. Oh. In my heart. Mm. Whoa. Look at that. Ooh. It's the castle. It's kind of lopsided. It looks like it's about to fall. It's like a Disney kind of castle. No, it's more like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. But at least the Leaning Tower of Pisa is structurally sound. they got to move it up every now and again. What, really? Yeah, I don't know, honestly. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure there's, like, talk of having to, like, where they have to, like, fix it a little bit, because every year it falls a little bit more. I imagine, like, something like that is just tipping. It's, like, it's not... Like, I don't know. I feel like at some point in history, not probably not while we're alive, but at some point in history, uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is just going to collapse on itself. Um, I mean... Technically speaking, yes, it could. But I'm pretty sure they do something to it, or they uh, maintain its uh, its current leaning mm -hmm. sort of thing. Might be wrong, though. Someone correct me. Because, yeah, if you just leave it to do its thing, it, it will one day just go, whoop. What? <laughs> and then no more funny funny for your tally. Yeah. What would that be? All I see is the cult, uh, the British uh, <laughs> flag on his back. The Union Jack. Oh, that's the yeah. I guess you could see it that way. It's the same colors. Well, yeah, I guess the colonial. Is that a colonial uniform or a British um, uniform? 
British, right? I'm trying to think specifically which one that would be. I think it's more like a British uniform, right? Or maybe not even British, maybe actually Scottish. No. I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> if, you, if you flip it from an X to a T, it would be Denmark. I guess so. Pete! Who likes Pete? Have you ever seen a original Mickey Mouse Disney short? Probably, but it's been probably so long I probably don't remember. I'd like to point out, Goofy just said Mickey banished Pete to another dimension for uh, being a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I'm annoyed of your voice. Toss you away. I'd like to point out, Pete is just a comical villain in Dis in Mickey Mouse shorts, That's where funny. he just inconveniences Mickey. And so when Mickey got the when he, Mickey got King Hood, he decided to send a guy like that who was just annoying him to another dimension. <laughs> I think I think Mickey is Darth Sidious. <laughs> I think I think that's what we're developing here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like the Union Jack or something. Not Union Jack. It's the, whatever the British thing is. The Union Jack, right? It's from the British? I'm pretty sure the Great Britain flag is known as the Union Jack. Okay. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the Brits. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong. <gasps> Oh, finally get to fight some proper Heartless. Actual Heartless. Just the way I like it. Back Burr. to the good old good old. Yee. Alright, I'll leave you guys to fight while I pick up the, the trash. Yay. Good job, Donald. Can I just kick him and he fall off the edge? <laughs> um. You don't know, eh? Well, let's hold you in, Sid. Of course, he's probably a heartless by now. Who the heck is Yen Sid? Uh. So wait for it to come up? Spell it backwards. I'm silent for a reason. <laughs> uh, uh, it's Mickey's father. I got you, okay. It's, it's Mr. Walt himself. Lovely. I would love it if it was just... What would his name be backward? Claw? It should be Master... Yen Sid... Claw. Yes. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid, it's funny. I like how there's just a portal. Instead of going up the stairs? Yeah. He, <laughs> yeah. For no reason. Oh! There was really no purpose for that portal. The Heartless. You know, I mean, like, this is obviously a random tower in a random place. You really do not need these portals to make it look all, oh, look, it's so magical. Mm -hmm. I think it just being a random tower in the middle of nowhere was just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Defeat all the Heartless. Okay, easy peasy. Now you're in a room with Heartless. You know, the nice thing is, I've got scan on so I can actually see their HP and stuff. Well, yes. And they're pretty easy to kill, so... Pretty easy. Sora had killed. Okay, a door. It's got an arrow in it saying go forward. Can no, I like it, it means up. <laughs> <laughs> it does not. 
I guess when you see things in that way... Tell me, Chris, does that not look like what I'm saying it is? Okay, so... (laughs) If you just move the portions that are jutting out just a little bit up forward, then almost exactly... (laughs) Because at first it looked like an arrow, and then when I noticed the, the things on the sides, I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, alrighty. Someone had fun with that one in the office. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, a special heartless. The boy with the helmet. Well, he's dead. He didn't last very long. Ooh. You know what my favorite designed Heartless is? Which one, Chris? Well, now that I think about it, it might be a spoiler for you. Because you will see it in this game. I see. Yes. How soon will I see it? If you choose to go to that world first, which you can, uh, then very soon. Okay. No, they really have it, Donald. Did Donald say bitch? No, they haven't changed a bit. But close enough, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, with his accent. Um, it's possible. Just the way that he... Enunciates it? The way that he sits on that final syllable. <laughs> oh, I love it. You're very antsy, because you knew it was coming, didn't you? Oh no, I kind of just pressed A on accident as I was walking. I don't like how it messes with my camera so much, though. At least when you're going upstairs, yeah. Yeah. When you're fighting a boss, I feel like the camera's a little bit nicer. But when you're fighting the Heartless, the camera's a bit... I'm like, why are you all bowing? There he is. Oh, Master Walt Disney. Nice to uh, nice to meet you. He's my creator. <laughs> That's what Donald and Goofy are saying. Yeah. That's my god right there. You know, maybe he's Darth Sidious, and the Mickey is just his, uh, his little puppet. Good. Mickey is the Darth Vader? Yes, exactly. He's going to the dark side. Yeah. Exterminating planets. Yeah. Like Kuros, was no, was it Ta- Naboo? It was Naboo, right? Or no, which one was it that they blew up? Oh, jeez. I don't remember. The planet that they blew up was Leia's homeworld. Naboo, right? Or am no. I mixing it up? No. Naboo still existed. It's whatever that one with the city in, in uh, Battlefront 2 was. Alderaan. Alderaan, okay. I have a key. What does that mean, Master? Now I must die. <laughs> Goofy and Donald are like little soldiers. Yeah. He's like, this is... Every Disney story in one book. <laughs> Enjoy it. If they actually made you read every story of every <laughs> Disney movie. God, nobody would play this game. <laughs> well, 
level are you right now? Seven still? Yep. Okay. Seven, seven. The beginning. Continue the future story. The beginning. The beginning. Each journey gives rise to chance encounters, and each encounter brings forth a farewell. When a farewell leads to a journey, the worlds open with their hearts. There are those chosen by the light and those ensnared by darkness, friends who share the same bonds, though the paths may differ. When you dealt the path trod thus far, when the hand you held is lost to you, gaze anew with the heart that once was, for all the answers are within. Okay, so that was just like a riddle for later. That was okay. just fluff, honestly. <clears throat> Fair enough. The interlude. Okay, let's see. Interlude. A long dream, a sad farewell. I want Morgan Freeman to voice this, please. <laughs> Chris, take, take, take a Morgan Freeman clip of just him saying these words and just paste it in there for me. <laughs> I think this is live. Oh, darn. <laughs> a long dream, a sad farewell, hanging in the air in that world between. What is reality? What is illusion? The path chosen by the young boy leads to his memories. Oh, why is it talking about Sora in here? What caught in the stream of the days and nights going past? Gaze anew at your steps. For there, all confusion will end. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got one more. The future story. Um, will the day come when this battle born of confusion will end? Yeah, why am I killing myself? It is different things <laughs> to different people. Uh, can the reality be that which is hidden? The reason is mere existence. Still, memories can be believed. Be not afraid and trust your body to the something, wa the soothing ways of your memories. By and by, your fleeting rest will be over and everything will begin. Okay. Talk awesome. okay. to Han Lucid. Actually, let's talk about this. So, Sora just completely glazed... He told you to read the book, and Sora doesn't even care. He basically ignores what that book was saying. <laughs> I do like that line. Heartless makes darkness linger. <laughs> it, was, it was a good line. That certainly makes sense, Goofy. If Who's the voice actor for the for uh, Master Yen Sid? It sounds very familiar. I could look that up, actually. Oh no, Goofy became a heartless. I mean, Donald became heartless. Implied that Donald is so evil that he could turn any moment. <laughs> Corey Burton. Does he voice anything that I might know? He is known as the current voice of Captain Hook, Ludwig von Drake, Dale, and others for the Walt Disney Company. Interesting. He's Brainiac in the DC animated universe. He's Zeus in God of War. Oh? He's Count Dooku and Cad Bane in the Star Wars The Clone Wars series. Interesting. Okay, that's probably where I heard his voice then from. He probably took over after Christopher Lee best. Probably. It makes sense. He does sound... He does the same kind of voice. Yeah, that's why I was like... Count Dooku again? Never hear him say nobody. Yeah. Nobody. You ever read um, the Odyssey? No. So there's one part where Odysseus goes to meet uh, the Cyclops. Yeah. And he's trying to escape from the Cyclops mm -hmm. with his one eye, and um, he blinds the Cyclops in a you know a fight, right? And so he tells he tells the Cyclops his name is Nobody, 
and because there's nobody, right? Mm-hmm. He says there's nobody, and so he's he's pronouncing nobody, nobody, or something, whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, so no one comes to the Cyclops' rescue as he runs away. <laughs> That's the only bit of the of the Odyssey that I know because I haven't read it all. I just read that excerpt. It's a pretty good story. It is. Because all, like, literally, his entire crew just dies to the Cyclops, because <laughs> the Cyclops eats everybody. Yeah. Except Odysseus, and Odysseus gets away. He's like, "Oh, my name is nobody." So the guy's yelling, "Nobody hurt me!" <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Nobody, nobody hurt me," because <laughs> he can't pronounce nobody. Okay, so we just point out that the people in the cloaks are also nobodies. Interesting. And Mickey was like, I don't understand why these cloaked figures are roving around, so I better become one myself. No, so that means Mickey Mouse is a nobody. At least now he is. Yeah. What if there's a real Mickey Mouse, and then that's just a fake Mickey Mouse? (laughs) That's the Dark Sidious Mickey Mouse. That would be insane for them to go with that. (laughs) But I'd like it. You remember the last game, don't you? No, no, I don't. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, you'll need more suitable. Really? I think these shoes are actually big enough. <laughs> he, wasn't, yeah, he wasn't talking about the shoes. He was talking about the rest. You mean the shorts? The really baggy shorts? But they're above your knees, look. <laughs> Alright, so how do I get my uh, my clothes? Yeah, open that chest. I do like the open chest animation. It, it, it is something I do appreciate. Master Disney. I would have loved it if it was just literally just Walt Disney. I would too. If it was like one of those, if they put a texture of the actual Walt Disney over a model. Oh, can someone mod that in, please? <laughs> Just have that as a mod. God, I was looking for mods for this PC port of Kingdom Hearts yesterday. Uh, I didn't do much searching, but I, I kind of want to throw a mod into Kingdom Hearts Two, one that you would like have to play a long time and then not even know that it was a mod. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'd just be amazed. It's like, at some point in the game, uh, Homer Simpson comes up and he fights you. <laughs> I just want Walt Disney's face just plastered on Mr. Master, uh, what's his name? Yensid? Yensid. That's so stupid. Whoever came up with that. Kind of a genius, but at the same time, I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to the red one. All right. Okay, change the clothes, please. We have here, dear, Sora, Dolan, and Goofy. I love how everyone knows my name. I don't think you've the ever pity, met pity, them. Okay, bippity boppity boo. Something like that, right? That's what it goes. I don't. I don't are. Th- is that like the fairy godmother times three? Are these the three who do bippity boppity boo? I don't I, remember. I think it's just one that does bippity boppity boo. Then I don't think these are the ones. I don't even remember who these three are from. I don't think they're from anything. That's the thing. I think it's literally they just copied and pasted the fairy godmother three times. They're just changing the color of your outfit, not actually giving you a new one. You know, that's a, that's a good point, Chris. You would think that by giving me a new outfit, they'd actually give me a new outfit. Would you just decide? <gasps> <What>? <laughs> I never... How dare you <laughs> speak to us? Can it please just be the same shirt as before? I would laugh. Here you are. Ah, my shorts are even more baggy. Lovely. You look so grown up, Sora. I feel like you gave me some really baggy pants. 
This is my favorite of the three main Sora designs. I gotta say, Kingdom Hearts 1 looks really cool. Kingdom Hearts 3 I'm not a big fan of. And then this one, this is my Sora. Interesting. I think his shoes are still too big mm. for his feet. They made them smaller. In fact, I think uh, Nomura has been subtly making the shoes smaller. on Sora smaller with each game. <laughs> I think he realized his mistake. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, clown shoes, god dang it. What happened to the black clothes? Uh, you transformed. Again? Well, no. The clothes can activate, like, a Super Saiyan form. Ah. So I just go, I level up? Well, you get more powerful. I you see. obtain new abilities in that form, Valor form, you can use two Keyblades. So now I've got two? Mm-hmm. What does drive do? That's what drive is. It's the transformation. And your bar indicates how much time you can use the drive form for. So let's not waste it now, then. Go back here? Back to the sorcerer's lot. Hello, Mr. Sorcerer. I've got, uh... What? Mr. Master y Disney. I think you dropped something. Huh? what I drop? Oh my god, you stole Mickey's crown. <laughs> what if that's what that was? <laughs> Mickey's crown. <laughs> so tiny. We don't know what that is. We don't know why it was in your pockets. Right? And then they hold, the, they hold Mr. Krabs on trial. For stealing uh, Disney's crown. Yeah. Yes. Ah, Jiminy Cricket. Oh no, it's actually Jiminy Cricket's crown. It fits him. Yeah, you put a puzzle piece... Is that like something I just collect? Yes, that's a collectible of this game. When you complete a puzzle, you get a rare item. Interesting. Look, it's your favorite thing! Chris, please. Please, no. <laughs> Don't do this to me, Chris. You excited? No. <laughs> you have no. to do it to get to every world. Are you kidding, right? You have to do it. Chris, no. <laughs> Don't do this. There's no other way to travel. No! <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> you didn't learn from the first game? <laughs> Alright, Count Duco, number two. It's a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> I love how there's two Count Ducos in this game. <laughs> there are, actually. <laughs> Makes me kind of happy. Yeah. I've got a second Count Duco. I may have lost Christopher Lee, but I got this guy. Yeah. What was his name again? Corey Burton? I'll call him Count Duco number two. Okay. Because <laughs> Christopher Lee was the one that played in the films. Yes. Yeah. I wonder how they got both Count Ducos to do the same game. Well, I don't think this guy... Well, th this came out in 2006 or something, so this guy wasn't in Clone Wars yet. Oh, I see. He probably took over after the fact, huh? Yeah. Because Lee died in 15. So he's been there for six years, huh? Yes. Ouch. He's so tall. He really is. He's like goofy times two. Either he's really tall or Sora's like 4'9", which would make <laughs> sense because he's only 13. I guess so, but you would think Goofy would be tall. He's a dog, though. I don't know, maybe he's a great name. I guess. Well, now Goofy's not even taller than you. He used to be, and now you're the tallest. What kind of dog is Goofy, anyway? A goof. His, his species is classified as goof. Really? Yes. That's canon? That is canon in most canons. Oh, damn. Who would have thought? My goodness, what's that? Oh, it's horrific. Look at those clothes. I like, to, I like to think that's that's exactly why they're angry. Mm -hmm. They're just like, oh, these are these horrific clothes. Oh, look at it. 
mean Maleficent? Is that who it was? Do you remember her name? What happens when the memories come back? I don't entirely know what Maleficent's canon is, but the fact that these three fairies remember her means that she comes back to life. And then I like how this one just stays. It is kind of her fault. She's like, I am back from the dead. <laughs> Apparently her cannon's really weird though. If that is part of it. Either that or Nomura just wanted to make up a reason to bring back Maleficent. Up on the chipmunks. Yep. I'm glad you cut off Dale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Dale. <laughs> I like how uh, the gummy ship looks like Star Trek or something now. Yeah, you get to look at what the gummy ship is like now. Please tell me I don't actually have to... Oh, thank the Lord, I don't actually have to do anything. Uh, you have to go in front of the world. That one. This one right here? Look, it's a special new world. Do you remember? The Hollow Bastard? Oh, so you're gonna do this one first? Land in Hollow Bastard. I wanna go somewhere else, Chris. No. That one doesn't exist. You're running into the walls of the uh, galaxy. You mean the, the Aurora Borealis? Yeah. They act as walls. We've never known because we've never been able to reach them. Yeah, that's very true. There's only so many worlds. Only one, two, three. No, 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 don't worry. Just land in Hollow Bastion. What if I landed here? What happened? You don't need to go there anymore. Oh, okay. Look who it is. Ew, it's Pete. I like how he just yells out her name. He's like, yeah. I mime you. Maybe she's really dead. Uh, something was going on with the bird. I don't know if anybody thought about fixing that, but... He's like, oh, it's a crow. I've never seen a crow before. <laughs> Look at this quaint little community. Is it an Olimar? A little Pikmin? Uh, <laughs> I guess the move, these Moogles kind of look like Olimar. They really do. I suppose you're not entirely stupid. It's Hollow Bastion. I remember this place. It was the last world I've been to. Yeah. Did you realize that w there was more to the world than just that castle that you invaded and destroyed? No, not really. I don't think it really mattered much. My job was just to kill everything I saw. <laughs> wow. It's very steampunky, right? If I remember. Kind of. Yeah. There's another puzzle piece. Oh no, I'm gonna fall. Ah, the shop. So yeah. you can buy... A shadow inkling mm -hmm. or a uh, open bandana. The thing that raises your defense only or this new thing which raises your darkness resistance. And your defense. Yeah, I don't need it. What's over here? Ah, it's a little, it's a little Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Um, and that shop. 
Okay. Weapon shop, okay. You can get the new weapons for Donald and Goofy. They don't need weapons. Okay. I'm gonna do all the work anyway. I hope you're confident with that. No, no I'm not, but you know. I feel like they're useless anyway. You know, Chris, I'm so happy I didn't actually have to fly here on the yeah. gummy ship. Moogles, they can synthesize. What does that mean? So he takes your synthesis materials, and once you give him a certain amount of materials for things, he can make you things. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, decipher recipes. Okay, recipes. We have no recipes. Uh, lists. We have no lists. Material log. We have no material log. In the same way that you had to synthesize every item in the game before unlocking the final ultimate weapon in uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, same thing here. You have to unlock, you have to synthesize everything and then you can have the best weapon. So I can't make anything right now? No. Okay. Potion, ether, tent. Okay. I will turn to your left and look who it is. Is that Mr. Donald? No, it's, uh, what's his name? Scrooge. Duck. Uncle Scroog! Uh, who? He's uncle, a business typhoon. Oh, lovely. He's a typhoon, not a tycoon. Yes. Oh, he was helping to set up a traffic system. A transit system. Ah, oh, that's all the racket. Ah, uh, Scrooge McDuck. Well, if it isn't Donald. Yeah, he looks pretty nice. Being an old Uncle Scrooge. Yeah. Hmm. Terrible. I kind of wish he just like threw it on the ground right there and then. <laughs> It'd be great. So ignore Scrooge for now. Ah, oh, invisible walls, of course. They really don't let you do much. When it comes to jumping off the edge anymore. They used to let me jump off the edge, Chris. Now they don't let me. No, you're not supposed to. I want to try, though. Look at this. Let me float. <laughs> There's an invisible wall on that railing. You're a very simple being, is my... I really am. <laughs> it's little things like that that <laughs> just amuse me. <laughs> Look where you are. Oh, mm. but who said that? Nominee? <gasps> it's nope. Yuffie. Oh, you're back. Back for round two. Lovely. Oh yeah, Chris, did you hear about what happened this morning in Haiti? Because last, I believe on our podcast, we were talking about the Haiti prison for a brief moment. Yeah. But, um... Oh, what's it called? Haiti, they had an earthquake this morning. Uh, again? Yeah. It was a 7.2, I believe? Jeez. Yeah. Uh, currently, the count is 300 dead, 1,800 injured. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, hearts out to Haiti, I guess. I don't know. Rough. At least it isn't... Well, I don't know if it's going to be as bad as the one in 2010. Yeah. Where they had 200,000 dead. Yeah, that... That's crazy. Jesus, that was a tragedy. Yeah. At least it seems like it's not that bad right now. Although the earthquake was the same size, I think. Roughly. Or bigger, even. Because it was a 7.2, while the one in 2010 was a 7.0. Yeah, I mean, the difference back then is that Haiti had, like, no infrastructure, and they were... That is true. A ...very poor, and, like, just... They were practically not a country. <laughs> no offense, I'm sorry for what happened, Haiti. It's just that after that happened... Things got better, so I imagine stuff was fixed and you could actually handle an earthquake this time. Except I would hope so. Not entirely, because an earthquake of that size is going to yeah, it's going to wreck, wreck anyone. It's day. a really terrible thing that happened. Apparently, they were, they can feel the earthquake in Florida. Yeah, that's how bad it was. So I was like, wow. Imagine you're just sitting in Florida and you just feel the earthquake and you're like, oh my god, we're new. Well, hi.
Goofy's already level 9. Good for Goofy. I still find that whole assassination of their president crazy, though. <laughs> no, that's that's really like something that's just like super random. Cause I still don't know why it happened. Yeah. Or who did it? It's just crazy. I don't know, man. Just cause. I guess. I st I still I still think it's cartel stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my bet. <laughs> Considering how many were Colombian. And a lot of them work with the DEA, so oh. that, 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 that's what gives me, like, okay, yep, yeah. that's my bet. Well, who knows? Yes. I guess we'll, I don't know if we'll ever know, actually. I, I don't think we ever will, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> oh, that's crazy stuff. The world is a crazy place, Chris. It really is. I knew there would be a chest up here. I, I was tempted to go up the stairs instead, so I can pick up the chests. Is there another chest over here? No, it doesn't appear to be. Okay, cool. Oh, there's one behind me. I knew it. I knew there had to be one more. Urgh. My gut was right. I do like the animation though, I, when, when he opened the chest Yeah. in this game. It's much better than the previous animation. Because in one, he, he double taps. In two, he just does a little like, yeah. little swivel. <coughs> and opens it up. Oh, there is more. Hmm. Wait, Chris, how long are we going for today? Uh, when do you want to stop? Um, I don't know. How long, did, how long did we intend on going for? Need to stop soon? Not really, not right now. Then maybe we'll go until 6. Okay then, 6 it is. This isn't the way to Merlin's house. Why do we need to see Merlin? Didn't we already see Yelsid? Mm. Is, he not the, is he not the Merlin of this game? No, Merlin's different. <sighs> Yen Sid is Disney lore. Merlin okay, is Okay, I, I, can't, I can't stand on this so I can jump to the other side. That's really dumb. These invisible walls bother me, Chris. <laughs> Look at this. There was really no need for an invisible wall right there. Uh, are you sure? Who thought that was a good idea? Mm. Maybe it's to keep you in your place. I'm gonna go with this in the pills of use. I just want to make make sure that everyone knows that there is an invisible wall right there. I could not get up. Or stay on that building. Will you just go to Merlin's house? I want the puzzle piece, Chris. You can't... <clears throat> you can't just get everything the moment that you see it, Isma. There yes, I can. Some things you need abilities for. No, I don't. No! <laughs> Look, it's Merlin's house. To your left. <sighs> Turn around, <laughs> please. <laughs> One last shot, Chris. I can do it. I believe in myself. That's all that I need. Just a little bit of belief. Okay, 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 I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. How am I going to get to... No! 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 Oh. What, what ability do I need? You need glide. Ah, fine. Go into the house. I really wanted it though, Chris. I really wanted it. Who are you again? You Weren't you just that one merchant? Like ah, uh, you assholes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know the Disney Vault. I was like, yep. It doesn't matter. This is great. 
Who is this again? It's the corpse. Who's she? Aerith. Oh. And why do they have the random shopkeeper here? Sid was always a good guy. I feel like his character was super random, though. But he okay. knows things. Thanks. About what? About the science. And who's this guy? It's Leon. Oh, that's Leon? What happened to his face? He got a scar. You'll have to play Final Fantasy VIII to understand. Oh, I see. So except he met Scar. Yeah, except... <laughs> that is... That's Leon's game, but that's also not Leon in that game. That's yeah. Squall. So, I'm just gonna assume that, uh... Leon... 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 Mm -hmm. Met Scar, and, uh, he got a Scar, too. <laughs> scar didn't give himself the Scar. Yes, it did. Scar gave Leon his scar, and he gave Scar his scar. Leon, where are you going? I've got a scar. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, the Bailey. That's a word you don't get to hear very often. The Bailey. There he is. Ah, Merlin, nice to meet you. No, actually, we were about to leave. What is Yuffie from? Seven. Seven? She also has her own DLC side story in the PS5 version of FF7 Remake, and not the PS4 version. Interesting. Well, thank you. Why didn't he give them to me, then? What is it, a credit card? What a unique idea. But what if there was a theme park and they also gave out membership cards? Maybe you should buy those. Tell your parents. Tell them to get out their credit cards and go to Disneyland.com. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great if there was just like a poster plastered right behind that pic that scene where they have the thing. And it just says Disneyland or Disney World. You must buy this card to come. <laughs> You remember how to do magic, don't you, Sora? Alright, teach me how to fly. Because, you know, I knew how to fly before this. You got a membership card. Um, which I would hope I can sell. You know how to use mm, Blizzard. Yeah. I believe we're level 9 now. Right? Level 8. Not level 8. Not level 9. Yeah. I think Blizzard works primarily the same way that it did in the last game. Fair enough. Uh, do we need to talk to any of these people? Where's the 100 acre wood? Right? Is it here somewhere? No, you're not allowed to do that yet. Oh, good thing I looked around. Ugh. Can't go to bed. Not like Roxas. You know, Roxas gets to go to sleep, but I don't. No. No no rest for the wicked. I guess so, Chris. I guess so. There ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees. Got bills to pay. Got <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing in the world free. Uh, that song's great. I love that song. Um, where, where'd I go now? Go up the stairs. Am I supposed to go to that place I was trying to enter a yeah. while ago? But Sora was like, this isn't Merlin's house. Down here? Yeah. Well, you don't know where this is. I like to believe that I just jumped down the stairs. <laughs> ah, Scar. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> His name shall be Scar from now on. Well, look at that. You see, son. Everywhere the sun touches. Is that what We want to restore Hollow Bastion to what it used to be. Who knows? Maybe even something better. Wait, what happened here? There's still a lot to do. I don't know what that is, Pretty actually. Sure is that like an oil spill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Just as likely. Is that what that's supposed to be? Look at that. Man, those dudes are just crip walking. Hmm. He's like, yeah, I don't want to handle it myself. <laughs> Why is it Organization 13? What are they? Yeah. Organization 13 because there's 13 members. You're yeah. Close the gate. Don't allow the infidels to get into the outside world. <laughs> oh, I find infidels to be such a funny word. I don't know why. Mm. Yeah, they gotta, they're gonna try and break the gates, so you gotta stop them. Oh, I see. Okay. Is this a time where I'm supposed to be using my, my spell? You could. It'll help. Why am I drive thing? Can I use it? Uh, you can only use it when Goofy's around. That's really random. Why is that? Well, it's specific because Valor Form can only be activated by using Goofy's power. You absorb him. I was trying to attack this entire time and nothing yeah. was happening. Because I moved it to drive. So Valor Form is you absorb Goofy's power and then you have power. And then you'll get another form which is you absorb... Donald, and then you have a different kind of form that's magic based. Interesting. Where are those two turns anyway? Why aren't they helping? They're doing their own thing. What thing? There's one thing to do here. They're helping in their own stupid way. Do you even realize what you just did? You just did something cool and it happened without your input. Oh no, it, 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 I, I pressed Y. Good job. I was quite aware of what I did. Well, Donald got a level up despite not being here for it to happen. They don't deserve level ups. The level should all go to me. Oh, it's your big sword. The one that was a pain in the butt to beat, I think. Yeah, I got fire. You now know how to use fire again. Oh, is it? Well, I can't disagree with that. Is that you, Riku? Do I need to kill yourself? <laughs> Do I need to kill you again? Cloak. Let's see. Who might you be? How many of you shall I kill all in one go? <laughs> See, I like how Sora thinks like I think. Yeah, yeah let's kill them all right now. But he wants to be your friend. You're not being very friendly, man. Just come down here and talk to me like a man. There we go. Now we talking. <laughs> How about I can, can I just like rip your hood off so I can see who it is? Mansoor is a shit talker. I know, he is. He's great. I love it. Remind <laughs> me. 
Hey, my knee. I'm going to kick your bum. Are we gonna fight or what? Let's just get down to it. What was the point of that, Donald? You got there well before he went away, and then you jumped on an already disappeared person. <laughs> he wasn't talking about Roxas, Sora. Don't even think of that name. Oh, was that his friend? Roxas' his friend or whatever? Roxas was a part of Organization 13. Yeah. Okay. And then it says Roxas. <laughs> if only. <laughs> it would have been great if it just says Roxas on it. Oh. You're doing a thing. Gorsh. Oh, Goofy's the best. With his ridiculous voice. Oh, it's another one of those things that I pick up. Can I pick it up? No, look at this. Oh, my honorary member card has opened the door to Disneyland for me. It'll do that. I think that's literally what it is, huh? In this context, yes. <laughs> it opened up Disney World. Lovely. Now let me guess, Master Disney's right there. Just, just <laughs> beyond the door. He's just watching and waiting. Lovely. He's like, I got a scar on my face. Take care. <laughs> I still don't know how that scar got there, but you know, it's there. Yeah. I still need to play FFX. It's been sitting on my computer forever now. Uh, it's, it's about time you finish that, is my... I know, right? There are some things... Why is it important if he's straight, dude? Also, you don't know that. I truly hope he's enjoying himself on his adventure. Maybe he'd like a hand to determine his fate. Hey, as long as it works in our favor, we can let him do what he wants for now. Then we'll all jump in if needed. Those are bold words coming from you. Are you saying you'll volunteer to take care of it if things go wrong? Their purpose again? I forget. You know, usually an organization has a has a has a purpose for being an organization. So, uh, what's their mission statement? Well, the hero of the Keyblade has embarked on a new adventure. Make sure it's one he remembers. Oh, is that their mission statement? They just want me to make sure that I have fun. Yeah. And kill them as many of them as possible. <laughs> they, yeah, they just they got together and they were like, you know what? It would be really boring if Sora didn't have any opposition during his journey. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole purpose of their being. Their goal is just to make sure Sora has some fun. What happened at Twilight Town? It got blown up, just like Alderaan. <laughs> if only. <laughs> Every time, I hope every time you let Chip talk and Dale gets cut off. <laughs> I don't think I mean to. I just press A too fast. It's good. It's good. It's funny. Okay. Uh, so what does that look like to you? Oh no, Chris. No. Don't tell me. Oh, you have to. Chris, but but I didn't have to do it earlier. Well, that's different. 
Koreans don't make me. So what does that world look like to you? Uh, it looks like Mulan, right? Well, I guess you'll have to go in and see. Okay, let's move on. Now, what is this one right here? And what does that castle look like? That's a very good question, actually. Beauty and the Beast? Well, take your pick, then. Is that really what it is, Beauty and the Beast, or no? Well, take your pick. Which world do you... Would you rather see Eddie... sweep. Would you rather see Eddie Murphy, or... Nobody cares about the others. You know, Chris, I think you sold me on Eddie Murphy. <laughs> All you had to say was Eddie Murphy. And you got me. I'm on board. Uh, what did I just do, Chris? You entered the gummy ship editor. Okay, let's... I don't think you have anything to make a gummy ship right now. How do I close this? B. No, it was B. actually select. Okay, so select and then back. Uh, hit the exit sign. Please. Uh, okay. Now get out of here and go to start. Do I actually have to edit my gummy ship in this game? Unlike the first one? You can just buy blueprints for stronger gummy ships and I don't think it matters. Mm -hmm. Because you can get through this game with a really good uh, gummy ship that you bought. Okay. Because I don't have to spend any time on this bullcrap. There really is no Turn point left. for this entire thing. For a moment, I thought the the developer would be smart and not make me do this. Oh, but look at this. Oh, I can't even hold it anymore. I have to tap it. They made this worse, Chris. They made this so much worse. Okay, but see what happens when you hold it. Nothing happens. I'll wait for it. Hold it. You just sent out missiles. Oh, I see. So yes, it's different. You need to acquire. You need to attach a specific gummy part to get the auto fire one, so that it's auto firing while you're holding, and then you you also send out missiles when you let go. But for now, you have to tap and hold for missiles. This is so stupid. It's, it's literally on the rail shooter type stuff, and I hate it. It's a lot shorter than it used to be, though. That's good. I really hate this. There's a lot going on on the screen, and my brain cannot keep up. You're having a meltdown? I know. You know, it just, just it just moves too fast for me. I can't process everything that's on the screen <laughs> <laughs> this fast. I thought you said this was shorter, Chris. Feels like it's taken a lifetime. Well, the first game's levels, if you don't remember correctly, longer than this. Especially since you were on the base form the whole time, and you were going at the slowest speed. You know? Um, now that you mentioned it, Chris, I was going at the slowest speed. You opened up missions level 1 and 2. Okay. What does that mean? It means you could play this again and play it on a different mission. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why you think that's a reward, but you know. <laughs> that's like a punishment. Added upon succeeding at a punishment. <laughs> that's like going to prison for five years and then being sentenced to five years more for completing prison time. <laughs> well, thank you. The Land of Dragons. I like how they called Mulan the Land of Dragons. Because they can't say China. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Is there a reason for that? 
Um, maybe as a point to Square and Tutsuya, maybe they have morals and they don't want to acknowledge China. Ooh, I love the scene that it starts this off on. I, I don't think that's Eddie Murphy talking. You're right, it's just an imposter. I feel, I feel like I just got gypped. Darn. I feel hurt inside. I, want, I really wanted Eddie Murphy's voice to pop up, and I don't think that's what it was. I think it's an imposter. It don't sound like him. No, we kill it now. Goofy. Goofy's right. It ain't ready, Murphy. They're like, Han Army. <laughs> It'd be really fun. Okay, gotta look at the Who does the voice for Mushu? It is Koichi Yamadera and Mark Mosley for the English. Well, what matters is that they acknowledge that the that even the summons from the last game uh, remember their adventures with you. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you know, to be fair, at least she's trying to sound like Eddie Murphy. Yeah. I can respect that. Yeah. So of the summons from Kingdom Hearts 1, yes. uh, I think only one of them you don't meet later in the series, and that's Bambi. Interesting. It's kind, it kind of makes sense, and it also doesn't make sense, because you go to Lion King World and you just become a lion. Why can't you go to Bambi World and become a fawn? You didn't notice? Let's be real. It wasn't really fun. Because <laughs> <laughs> we know how that story ends, Chris. <laughs> you get shot. So... Do you have to watch somebody get... Do you have to watch Donald get shot as a big ol'... Or no, it would be Goofy. Yeah. Goofy would be your buck father, and he will get shot. Yes. Do you, do you want Ping? You have to have Ping, in, at least right now. Okay. Well, should I take Goofy or Donald? Take Goombi. Like so? Like so. Alrighty. Well, it looks like... We got Fao Mulan. So, what, by the way, one of my... I don't know. Is, I think it's, it might be my favorite Disney movie of all time. Mulan is probably... I'm going to go ahead and say top ten for sure. For me. It's probably like at, oh, top three maybe for me. If not number one. Because mm -hmm. it's the movie I've definitely seen the most. Yeah. I also want to know because I saw somebody do a video... Where they said they watched every Disney-owned animated movie. Uh, do you consider the Pixar movies before the T Disney acquisition as Disney movies now? When did Disney uh, acquire them? I want to look specifically. I want. Let's see. When did Disney uh, buy Pixar? 2006. 2006. So, let me look at Pixar's filmography, and I can tell you which ones were not released as Disney films. Well, I can tell you right now, Bugs Life was one of them. And that is an excellent Pixar film. That is probably, I would consider, the Pixar film. 
is Bug's Life. Okay, so... Okay, so The Incredibles, Finding Nemo, Monsters, Inc., Toy Story 2, Bugs Life, and Toy Story were released before the acquisition. So, so would, are... you, would you still consider those Disney movies? I consider ne Finding Nemo, Toy Story, and um, what's it called? Uh, Monsters, Inc. to be Disney films. I don't know why, but I always thought they were. Um, as for Bugs Life, definitely not. And same with Incredibles. I never thought of them as Disney films. And I'm not exactly sure why that's the case, but that's the case. Personally, just because they were not released as Disney films, I don't associate any of those films as having been Disney. In fact, a lot of the ones that came out after the merger, like Ratatouille, Wall-E... Uh, those ones I definitely consider Disney films. Brave, Monsters University, Inside Out. I don't know, just because Disney's on them, I don't I don't consider any of the Pixar movies Disney movies personally. Fair enough. Oh, you just punched me, what the heck? He did. Yeah, go Donald. Take him out, take him out, take him out, Donald. I like how Donald is kicking his ass. That's great. <laughs> did you ever notice how that guy has the black eye for the entire movie and months pass during the movie? That is very true. There's a one bad black eye. <laughs> Hi, I am Poe. Oh, I love him. He's a big boy. Please, please break out into a song. I would so appreciate it. God, this toxic masculinity character. Oh, hello. Look uh. great. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that's it, their explanation for why they took that character out of the live action movie? They took him out? Really? I never saw the live action. Because, yeah, uh, don't, because it's a stupid fucking movie. And their explanation for taking out a the general and taking out the love interest for Mulan is that he was a toxic masculinity character. And I say to anybody who thinks that, that was the fucking point. <laughs> he learns at the end that he should not judge based on race, like, uh, sex. He should not judge based on gender. Because Mulan saves his life and becomes the best soldier he knows, and so he throws that those conceptions of what is manliness away well it's not about what's manly or not it's like, it's, it's about um heroism like anyone could be like a hero you know yeah that's, that's the way i view it i, I view it more like um it's like um because Mulan was a real person too if i recall mm -hmm. right they're, they're they're actually like a historical there's historical basis for her story i yeah. think uh -huh. if i recall and um She's like the hero of China, I think, right? Mm -hmm. I think I think that's a real story, right? I want to say it's a real story. Well, I'm you not wrong. What are your names? Uh, Sora, Donald, Goofy. Like these are not Chinese names. <laughs> well, you're welcome in my troop, anyways. <laughs> um, now let let us play the song. We are man. God, it's so good. You'd rather dishonor my troops. What was I going to try and Google? If Mulan is a real historical figure yeah. in China. Let's see, Mulan. Oh, I want to say history. Yeah, Mr. Mulan, historical context, please. Is a fictional folk heroine from the northern... Oh, so it's... It's based on a fictional story. Yeah, it's based on a legend, yeah. So, there is... Historical basis, but it's fictional historical yeah. basis. There you go. 
It's like if they made a Journey to the West movie and they were like, we have to keep historical context of this fictional story. Yeah. And we have to turn... <laughs> we have to make sure that uh, Sun Wukong is actually a monkey person. <laughs> oh. Which I would be cool with, because that's a... I mean, that's funny. That's just a good... <laughs> I don't know who thought that up, but that's a good idea. Oh. I remember saying, oh, there it is. That's the thing I wanted to grab. Oh, I have to climb the thing. Chris, I gotta use the little things and get up there. Go. Do it. Uh, yeah, you bitch. I can do it. I can do it. I believe in myself, Chris. I don't know about you. Do I need glad for this, too? Yes. Let's see. One more, one more. You're not gonna do it. That's what they said about Mulan until she did it. Well, maybe actually. Can I do a backflip, Chris? No. I guess you're right. No, but um, no, I, I like I love Mulan's story. She's just, you know, like the heroine. That's what she is. Yeah. She's the premier heroine, I think. Another good story would be, like, a Joan of Arc. Yeah. That's that's an actual figure. Yes. Yes. That's historical. Yes. That, I mean, that's, they, that's actual history. I don't know if they if they ever... I mean... I, I, don't, don't, th I don't think they've ever made a film about her, though. I don't or, think so. Or at least at least not, like, a like Disney film. Uh, I've never heard about one. And it would be weird to turn that into a Disney film, considering it doesn't end well for her. No, no, don't. But she's still... A, Great heroine. I mean, she yeah. saved, she she liberates France. Yeah, it matters that it's a good story. Yeah. Wait, wait. You have to do missions. I get I get to choose how I want to attack. Yes. The surprise attack or the ambush or the surge. I think two of those things are the same thing, really. No, no, it's very different, Chris. So the surprise attack. A strange figure was seen at the checkpoint. Head there quickly and defeat the oh. That's not a surprise attack. It's more like the I was I was attacked. <laughs> the ambush, however, a mob is heading for the checkpoint. Stop them while keeping an eye out for strange enemies. Oh, the search. Uh, we're gonna do the ambush first. Chris, I thought we were ambushing someone, not we were being ambushed. Uh, whatever. <sighs> so you gotta collect the dragon orbs. Because if your morale runs low, then you lose the fight. Yeah, I, 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 I know that much. I just don't know how fast it goes down. I also don't understand, jeez, why would they throw that in? What does it do? Nothing really, it's just, a, it's more like a timer. That's kind of what it is, isn't it? It's like a timer. If that's really all the only purpose that it serves. Oh, there he is. So I said that I had a favorite heartless design, and that's him. I love it. Look at him. He's a cutie. I think that's... Is that supposed to be a play off of uh, maybe like Lu Bu? Is that what that is? I think it is. Because his horse is red, right? He's also got the... 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 Uh, the, the, the halberd? That's what it is, right? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, th I think I think that's supposed to be a Lubu, because among men, Lubu among horses red hair. It's a, it's a saying, Dad, because <laughs> he was like he was like the best warrior of his time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm kind of getting wrecked. Ouch. You kind of are shit at this. Just well, a little bit. To be fair, I wasn't really paying too much attention. I, I was I was too enthralled by this guy's lance. And any historical You're context gonna die. have. Okay. I was using the potion, Chris. It literally went down by one, two when I did it. Just for the record. <laughs> if, if, I don't know if anyone noticed that, but my potions went down by one, and I still died. <laughs> Let's do that again. But yeah, no, no, I think that was supposed to be Lu Bu on red hair, mm. which is his horse. Do you know how Lu Bu dies, Chris? 
Does he get impaled on his own land? No, he just gets executed. No. He, he's captured and then um, he just dies. That's ex not exciting. No, no. Because the guy's an idiot. Oh. He's super strong. He's just an idiot. I mean, well, I mean, he's portrayed as an idiot at least in yeah. Three Kingdoms. Yeah. Um, but I mean, he's not like a complete dunce. He's just arrogant. Yeah. And it's his arrogance that leads him to uh, to his death, really. Because he doesn't listen to his advisor. He was like probably one of the best advisors at the time too. So it was like he probably should have listened, but you know, didn't. And well, he died. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, he had it coming because he betrayed literally everyone he like messes with. Yeah, you know he had three fathers. Chris. Yeah. His first father he betrays for his horse, red hair. His second father he betrays for his his his, uh, his lover, uh, uh, Diao Chan, which does not I think exist historically speaking, but you know, in the context of the story, it does. Um, <laughs> so not that I wasn't paying attention to you, yeah, yes. um, but I was looking up because. I had just remembered, you know, it's something that I kept in the back of my head, but mm -hmm. I haven't thought about it in a while. Uh, the Kingdom Hearts TV show is still coming. It has, it's been added as, uh, to be coming to Disney Plus. Uh, they're working on it. I was just worried because it's been a while since we got that news. It came out last year, early last year. And we didn't get any news on it, and now I'm, I'm glad that it's basically confirmed considering they added it to the Disney Plus list. So there's going to be a Kingdom Hearts show, right? Yeah. It's really interesting. Really weird. But yeah, no, um... So yeah, Lubu had three fathers. Right? Yes. The first one he betrays for his horse. Yeah. So basically he says, I'll give you a horse, and he takes the horse, you know, and he yeah. kills his dad. Um, the second one, he, uh, he... he betrays for his, his his lover who doesn't exist in history but um, but in the context of the story does mm. and he didn't want his uh, his dad who was the uh, essentially the de facto ruler at the time to um, take her mm. so as his wife so he took her as his wife and uh, killed him and then his third father um, I think also dies Kind of horribly. That's pretty cool. Yes. So it, it, it's a curse to be his uh, his son. I mean, you know, <laughs> to have him as a son. It's considered bad luck. I think I failed this one, Chris. Oh, did you? You only have to kill three more heartless. Well, no, I, I was. I didn't realize I was supposed to be looking for them. You've got enough morale. Just go, find them, and kill. Search and destroy. Oh, that was convenient. It just popped up right next to me. There, there we go. go. Close call. Yeah, it was. I think we'll be done with Mulan's world pretty soon. Or will we? I don't know, honestly. Shan Yu, we're out of time. Okay, one more. Don't let the the what? The, the morale, morale get down. Okay. But yeah, I do I do really enjoy the uh, three kingdom period. I can yeah. go I can go on about that for days. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great great novel. I recommend anyone and everyone to read it. What about Arabian Nights? You know, I've got that on my bookshelf and I've never touched it, Chris. It's a very long book. Yeah. And, you know, I just never had the time to, to read it. You know what would have made Arabian Nights a better story? And what's that? Sonic the Hedgehog. Maybe. Maybe, Chris. Maybe. <laughs> I'll, I only know the basis of the story, and that's um, basically... Or no, or is Arabian Nights the same as 1001 well, that's a Nights? Well, that's a story in Arabian Nights. Because Arabian Nights is the story, like... Arabian stories. Like, 
Well, no, because I figured... Because that's what my family calls Arabian Nights. They call it 1001 things. Because the whole, the whole story is this lady is... Um, she marries the king or whatever. Mm -hmm. And this king kills all his wives. Yeah. Like, after he gets tired of them. Yeah. And so to keep him busy for 1001 days... <laughs> She tells him a story every night. <laughs> yeah. And I think that was until, like, the king passed away or something. Oh. Yeah. That was smart. Of her to do that. Yeah. So she would tell him a story every night, and she would leave it open-ended every night. <laughs> Which is, I, I, I think, is the basis of Arabian Nights. Because it's 1,001 different stories that she tells him. And every night is just a little bit more of the story. Oh. If I have my uh, information correct. Yeah. But do you know what else is a good uh, uh, folklore stories? Yes, Chris, which the, one? The stories of King Arthur. You know, those are stories I need to read. I've never yeah. actually touched. Well, did you know that you could make those stories so much better if you put Sonic the Hedgehog in them? Chris, let's be What the fuck is Goofy <laughs> doing? <laughs> Oh, let's join him. Goofy has has made Zen. <laughs> you know he's one with the Force. He's achieved a level that you can only dream of. Literally. Uh, see, I can't stay in one place, but Goofy, Goofy can. Oh, I pushed him off. Oh, he's yeah. trying to get back up. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. How dare you steal that from me? <laughs> Uh, save the game. I'm oh, he did it! Oh. <laughs> he did it! Oh, well. Another goof. Do oh it, my goof. god, this is genius. E. I like how Goofy knows exactly what's up. He's trying. <laughs> uh, I'm glad we have that. We caught that on stream. Yes. Speaking of stream, why don't you save this bad bitch? Where, where do I save, Chris? Where's the save? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I really do not see a save thing. Bamboo, Bamboo Grove. Grove. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Uh, go up here. There you go. There we go. Cool. There's a strange man. Where the Lord are we now? Oh, Level 11. 11. Wow. We, we made some progress today, Chris. We did. We really did. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next time to see some more Milan. <laughs>